Welcome to your chordal lesson of the week. Today it's all about thumb chords. How can we use our thumb on the fretboard to reach some chords that wouldn't be possible otherwise? So there are some guitar teachers that would tell you that you should always have a clean position on the fretboard and always have your thumb behind your neck like this. And this is true for most of the cases, but there are some cases where your thumb can be really handy to play some bass notes on the fretboard. So I'm going to show you some of the most common shapes using your thumb. And the first one being on a D major chord. So if I ask you to play a D major chord, you are most probably going to play this one. This D major open shape, right? This is one of the first chords that we learn. But if we want to play this chord in first inversion, meaning that the lowest note will be the third of the chord instead of the root. So when I play it like this, it is a root position because my lowest note is D and D is the root of D major. But if I want to play it in first inversion, I need to reach the F sharp note. So the first way we can do it is to refret the chord totally and play it like this. But the problem is that it's not very comfortable because we are used to play our chord like this and we cannot use our pinky like this, right? So if I have a chord progression, let's say E minor, D on F sharp and then G. If I play it like this, yes, I have enough fingers to play my D on F sharp with the bass like this, but it's not comfortable. I'm not used to play it like this, so it took me a second more to fret the chord. So the easiest solution is to play your D like normal and just play the F sharp with your thumb here. And it's much more comfortable like this. So you can play your E minor, D on F sharp, and G major. And what is really cool with this progression is you have a melody in the bass line. So you have E, F sharp, and G. So it's much more melodic for your bass line than jumping E, D, G. When you play it normal, but if you play it with your thumb, it flows nicer this way. So the thumb for the D major chord is the most common one. But after this chord is a G major and talking about G major, there is another nice position for it and it's on G major 7. So you are going to place your pinky on the 4th string 5th fret and just do your pyramid like that. So uh, frets 5, 4, 3, 2. So this is a G major 7, but it is a tiny chord. If we want a big bass note on G here, we cannot because we, always, we already use all of our fingers for this one. So our only option is to play the G with our thumb like this. So now our G major 7 is much bigger because we have the big bass note underneath. And other applications of thumb chords is especially to play chords a la Jimi Hendrix or uh, John Mayer. Is if you want to do some embellishments like bluesy embellishments. You need to have some fingers that are available for it. But if you play, let's say, a A major bar chord, you do not have any free fingers to do your embellishments. You have to remove some finger. So that could not be desired in some cases. So what you can do is to play your triad. So you will start with your ring finger on the fourth string again, but now on the seventh fret and go in order, seven, six, five. And then you can play your root note, in this case it's A, with your thumb like this. So now you have your pinky that is available, but you still have your bass note underneath. Mm -hmm. 
which is really good for this kind of music. Or, and you could do it on a minor form too, you, so you can remove your middle finger and bar with your index finger like this and still place your thumb in the same place. So now you have the minor chord. And you can do the embellishments with your pinky once again. So you could play the major one, so let's say A major, and then go on B minor two frets higher. So this is really how Jimi Hendrix were, was playing his chords like this. He had a really big thumb like this, so he could do many embellishments inside of the chords. And this is really good, especially for ambient guitar, to keep the same triad, but changing the bass line under it. So let's say that I have a chord like this. I will do the same uh, major triad, but this time on B major. So this is, once again, ring, middle, index, but it's going to be frets 9, 8, 7. Okay, and I will add the open E string on top just for an added color. And let's say that I would do a different bass line on it. So I, I would do it like this. I would place my pinky instead of my ring and I would use my ring to play the C sharp at the bottom, which is a beautiful chord. If I want to play the B note and alternate between those bass lines, this would be difficult because I would have to refret my chord every time. which is a little bit difficult because that's a lot of fingers to change. But if I do my first chord like this and use my thumb to reach the B bass line instead of refretting everything, this is going to be easier. I will put a tab on top so you can follow along for this little melody and little riff. So there you go, these are ways that you can use your thumb to fret some pretty common pretty common chords to play with your thumb. But if you have some other bar chords that you know, you can be creative and remove the bass note and play it with your thumb and see what you can do with this chord with now one more finger available for embellishments. It could do something really great. You can really experiment with it. Thanks for watching my lessons, guys. If you are interested to go more in depth with your ambient chords, you can learn more about my chords program. This is a big program where I teach everything about chords and everything I learned in the last 12 years at university and such for chords. So if you want to learn more, click on the first link in the description box. Thanks a lot for being here with me and until next time, au revoir.